Okay, the last here from Exeter is Stu Gray selling handicappers at 0 to 90. So two mile, two furlongs. There's not many horses at 0 to 90 at the moment, as we'll see. There's only five. So crucifix for Jamie Hopkins, Arnu for James Follis, famous poet for Stu Gray, Japan Do for Doug Warren, and Twix for Alex Cherry, the favourite. There's only five to call. Let's see if they all get round. They're all going to get a bit of money. So they're already all over the first. Thank God this is an over three miles. Alex Cherry rises at the second one. Alex Cherry's horse <laughs> Twix. So it's Arnu that's going to lead us for James Follis. Get a, a view from the crowd. Oh, cheering these uh, horses along. They come over the top of the hill. Here you can see them. It's nice to have a 0 to 90 handicap in week two. And uh, there we go. As they pass the big screen, the circuit left to rub. And it's Arnu that's happily, happily taking them along by four lengths to Famous Poet and Twix. And then Crucifix and Japan do. So Arnu past the coaches in the background. And then we've got Twix, Famous Poet from My Stables. And then Crucifix and Japan do. So not a bad little pace. They take the fourth hurdle. Everybody skips over it. Japan do is a, a little bit slow. And I imagine that uh, a lot of these are two mile horses. Just they happen to be in the 0 to 90 bracket. And they'll be trying to pick up the two mile two. It could be too long for all of them. But one of them should come home leading and winning the money. I doubt if there's a lot of money for this selling handicap. Here at Exeter, the clouds have lifted to the fog we had from the last race. And it's still our new. Just by three now to Famous Poet in second. And we've got Twix, Crucifix and Japan Do. It's the same five. And they're pretty much in the same order. They're going to start going uphill in a minute. And it's our new that's going to take them into the, the start of the hill. And they go up and he's probably going to get to the peak first. So our new leading by three to the Famous Poet and Twix. And Crucifix and Japan do just uh, not really settle him. Jockey's having to jostle him along quite often just to keep up with the pace. Although well, there isn't a great deal of pace, they go to the six. And he just skips over that, as we'd imagine them to. So it's Arnu, Twix, famous poet. Crucifix and Japan do have run along together most of the way. Better jump there by Japan do. So it's Arnu up front, but Twix is starting to pull alongside now as they go come downhill. Uh, roughly six and a half furlongs left to go. And Twix just noses his head in front from Arnu in second. They take the eighth. Arnu is a little bit slow. Japan do under a bit of pressure now. The one that's going backwards is Famous Poet. Obviously not going to win my own seller here. Uh, it's Twix that leads us from Arnu. And then Japan do and Crucifix still together. There are a couple of Siamese twins. They can't get away from each other. So it's still Twix and Arnu. Japan doing crucifix. Famous poet is probably ten lengths off now. You can see him being pulled up over a two mile, two furlong race. And a slight rise here as they approach the next and Twix leads, starts to head for home. Not sure if Arnu's got anything left. It's Twix, the bottom weight, running well. Gonna approach the next leading. The ones that are chasing harder, Japan, Do and Crucifix and Arnu, they're all going to fight it out for second. Can't see anything catching Twix as he goes over the ninth. There's still two to go and two furlongs to run. The one that's gone backwards now is Japan, Do. Or over the tenth, only one to go. The one that's really trying hard is Crucifix, but he's got a lot of weight to carry. I think Twix is going to take this. He's already a f probably five lengths ahead. We've got one left to jump, furlong left to run. He skips over it, as does Crucifix and Arnu. Japan, Do and Famous Poet. I think this is the order coming in. Arnu fighting back, trying to get hold of second place. But Twix has got this. Jockey's looking round. An easy win here for Alex Cherry. Arnu and Crucifix will fight out for second and third. Japan, Do comes fourth. And Famous Poet gets it's fifth place prize money for Stu Gray. So well done, Alex Cherry. Good win there for Twix. Second was Arnu from James Follis. Third was Crucifix for Jamie Hopkins. Fourth was Japan Do for Doug Warren. And fifth was Famous Poet for Stu Gray. And a big fat £240 for me. Thank you.